Yo, what is up guys, it's Highcross, and today I'll be taking you guys through a tutorial to help reduce ping and decrease packet loss within Fortnite. Now it's important to know that ping is mainly based on your location to the server, however if you're fairly close to the server and you notice that your ping is higher than other people who live around the same distance from it, then your settings might not be optimized or you don't have your internet set up properly. So with that said, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this one, and let's get right into the video. And so the very first step for reducing your ping is making sure you have an ethernet cable. And for some people that's going to be completely obvious, and for other people that might not be so obvious, you guys are going to want to have either a Cat5e or a Cat6 ethernet cable. Either one of those are going to work. I really do make like Cat8 ethernet cables, however I think that's way too much overkill for your PC. Just go for like a Cat5e or Cat6, that'll be completely fine. You guys are going to want to make sure that one end of your ethernet cable is plugged directly into your ethernet port of your PC, and the other end runs from your PC directly into your Wi-Fi router. That will give you a direct wired connection from your PC to your router, and it's going to make your connection extremely smooth. No jumping, no hitching, no packet loss, unless you guys have your settings mixed up, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but if you guys are currently using like a wireless connection like Wi-Fi, that is going to give you a lot higher ping, and it's going to make your connection very unstable. So I do recommend getting yourself an Ethernet cable. Now let's head into our next step. Now for this next step, you guys want to make sure that you update your Ethernet drivers, alright? So we're going to go in here, we're going to go to Device Manager at the bottom. Once we open this, I'm going to fully expand this for you guys. We're going to scroll down until we see Network Adapters, we're going to expand that. We're going to right click on your main uh, Ethernet here, so I'm going to right click it, you're going to go to Properties. And you guys are going to want to go to the driver tab right here, and you guys are going to want to go to update driver. So we're going to hit update driver. From here, you guys want to hit search automatically for drivers. We'll do that. And if this says the best drivers for your device are already installed, then you're completely fine. You guys can also do a search for updated drivers on Windows updates. That's just going to look for any Windows updates on your PC. Uh, you guys could do that if you would like. But typically, if it says that it's already installed, you guys should be fine. And if, if something actually pops up when you do this, make sure to install it so you guys are completely up to date with your Ethernet drivers. Sometimes when your drivers are out of date, that could actually cause you to get higher ping and more input delay, things of that nature. And after doing that, you can close out and we are ready for our next step. All right, boys, so for our third step, we're actually going to go back down to the bottom left here, type in device manager again, fully expand this. We're going to go back to our network adapters. We are going to right click on our main Ethernet. We're going to hit properties. And from here, we're actually going to go into the power management section. And you guys want to actually make sure that allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked. And if you see an option down here, mine is grayed out right now. But if you guys see allow this device to wake the computer, you guys can uncheck that as well. Um, you don't want either of these checked because that is just going to divert your power to another thing. You guys want full power to your computer. So just make sure those are both unchecked and hit OK. And after hitting OK, we're actually going to go back in. Make sure to right click on your Ethernet controller again, go to properties. And from there, we're actually going to go into advanced. OK, from here, I want you guys to copy my exact settings. I have these settings completely optimized for the best ping possible. Now, some of you guys aren't going to have all these settings and that is completely fine. It's different for everybody. That's what I've noticed. Like a lot of people will comment saying I don't have half the settings you have. Just copy the settings that you see that I also have. All right. So I'll just go one by one and make sure you guys have all these settings copied. So first with ARP offload, make sure you have this enabled for this DMA. Make sure you have it disabled. Enable PME, make sure you have disabled. Flow control, RX and TX enabled. Interrupt moderation enabled. Interrupt moderation rate low. IPv4 checksum offload, RX and TX enabled. Jumbo packet, I have this set at 1514. Now, in the past, I actually had this value much higher, but I actually noticed this was causing some problems with my PC as a whole, so I just stuck with this value. I recommend doing this value as well. Uh, for large send offload v2 ipv4 make sure enabled large send offload enabled locally administered address uh, no, just hit not present log link state event enabled ns offload enabled packet priority in vlan packet priority in vlan uh, receive buffers i have this at 1024 again some people have this at a much higher value i just keep mine at 1024 selective suspend enabled selective suspend idle timeout five Speed and duplex, auto negotiation, TCP checksum, RX and TX enabled. Uh, for the IPv6 version, RX and TX enabled. Transmit buffers, 1024. Uh, UDP checksum offload, RX and TX enabled. Uh, the IPv6, same thing, RX and TX enabled. 
wait for link auto detect now these are all going to be very important settings directed towards your ping so make sure you guys focus on these as well the wake from s0ix on magic packet make sure you have enabled wake on link settings disabled wake on magic packet disabled and wink on pattern match disabled especially important is these bottom three okay these wakes make sure you guys have all of those disabled that's going to most benefit your ping overall so again make sure these are all disabled from there just hit okay and we are ready for our next step all right boys so for this next step i actually want you guys to hit the link in the description this is going to bring up a dns benchmark i want you guys to download the dns benchmark and that will bring this up this little dns benchmark thing and what you guys are going to do is have it run the benchmark which i already did and what it's actually going to do is make sure you have this checked the sort fastest first and it's actually going to show you the best DNS server for you. For most people, it's actually going to be Google, which is right down here, which is 8888 um, and Google's alternate is 8844. And surprisingly, it's actually pretty middle of the line for me. Um, the best one for me is actually 208.67.220.222. So what you guys are going to do from here, once you guys see the best DNS server for you guys, you guys are going to want to minimize that. You guys are going to go down to the bottom left hand corner, type in settings. From here, we're going to go into network and internet. We are going to go into change adapter options, double click on your ethernet, uh, go into properties. You guys are going to look for Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Uh, left click this once, go to properties. And from here, we are actually going to copy the DNS server that we just got that stated it was the best. So as you guys can see right now, I have 8888 in, which is the Google DNS server. That was what I had in previously. So I'm going to delete that um, for the alternate. I'm actually going to leave this as the Google one. The Google one is probably very consistent compared to a lot of these other ones. Um, but we're actually going to check. So mine was 208.67. So we'll go 208.67, um, 220, then 222. So 220, 222. All right. So I copied that. You guys can feel free to copy your best DNS server. And from there, what you guys are going to want to do is just hit OK and close out of that. And actually, another thing you guys can do to double check and further test the ping that you guys are going to get with this DNS server, you guys can go down to the bottom left hand corner again, type in command prompt. And from here, we're going to type in ping space and then type in what you guys did. So just to double check again, I'm 208.67 points. Go back again and it's 220.222. So we'll go 220.222, hit enter, and it's going to run the test and show you guys the best ping. So it looks like right now it could show you guys the ping right here. So the minimum is 15 ping, maximum is 23, average is 17. And if we were to do this for Google, just to show you guys the difference, we'll go ping and we'll go 8.8.8.8 and run that one. Um, it's actually going to be a little bit higher or at least should be a little bit higher. You guys can see the minimum is actually 32. Maximum is 40. Average is 35. So there's a big difference with these two DNS servers, which makes it so important that you guys do this DNS benchmark. Find your fastest DNS server and copy that and put it directly into your settings. Um, hopefully this helps you guys decrease your ping in Fortnite. All right, boys, and the very last thing I'm going to recommend you guys is actually something that Epic Games directly recommends for you guys to do to help with your ping um, if you're struggling with your ping. So what you guys are going to want to do is hit Windows and R on your keyboard. That is going to open up your run tab from here in the bottom left hand corner. We're going to type in percent local app data percent, then hit enter. We're going to type in E on our keyboard to help find it. We're going to find Epic Games Launcher. Double click on that. Double click saved. Double click config. Double click Windows. And from here, we're actually going to locate the engine tab right here. And we're going to head right into there. Now in this engine tab, what you guys are going to do is go back into my description of this video and you guys are going to see that I have pasted something in there. You guys are going to want to copy that and paste it right in here and it should look exactly like that. Um, this is actually recommended by Epic Games themselves to help with your ping and help with your overall delay in Fortnite. Now, this isn't guaranteed to help, but it is just kind of an extra thing you can do just to kind of have something else in the background working that kind of helps speed up your game a little bit. So after pasting this in here, we're going to hit file and we're going to hit save and then we're good to close out and close out of that.
And yeah, boys, that is going to conclude this tutorial for helping decrease ping and reducing packet loss for Fortnite. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. It greatly helps my channel. Uh, we are so close to 6k subs, so make sure to subscribe. Join the High Cross community. My Twitch and Discord are both linked in the description below. You guys can feel free to DM me on Discord with any questions. I try to respond to everybody. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.